making this video in December of 2022 with the plan of having it posted on January 1st of 2023. Ooh, so exciting. I always love New Year's. Historically, ever since I was in high school, it has been my favorite holiday of the year, particularly because it's just a time where you actually spend some time with your friends, and it's like okay to spend the, that holiday with your friends. So I'm very fortunate. My friend group and I have a similar approach to how we like to do New Year's, where we kind of just hang out at someone's house, play games, have a couple drinks, things like that. So that is likely what I spend my time doing last night when you're watching this video. Um, and I hope you all had a lovely, lovely, lovely New Year's. But all of that aside, this video, I wanted to take a bit of time just to talk about my plans and my theme for the year of 2023. So, I am not a huge fan of resolutions, like New Year's resolutions. I know they're an incredibly common thing, and for some people, they work really, really well, which is fantastic. But for me, historically, resolutions have never worked out. I've only ever been able to maintain them for like a week, two weeks at tops, and then I burn myself out and I don't do it for the rest of the year. So, recently, like in the last year or two, instead of doing resolutions, I have been setting yearly themes. Yearly themes. So instead of being like, oh, in 2022, I'm going to go fully vegetarian. I'm not going to eat any meat because I feel like that's a goal that as interested as I am is a little bit too much for me. I might fail and then it's not going to make me feel very good and I'm going to quit completely. Instead of that, I don't set like specific hardcore goals, but I'd rather give myself like an overarching theme to approach. And the reason why this works for me is that I don't set strict parameters on what I need to be doing. So I don't need to be doing this or meeting this goal or exercising this much or eating that, whatever it is. Instead, as long as I'm making progress towards that goal, I am succeeding. And so that can change throughout the year because a year is a long time. So if I start off doing one thing and I'm really enjoying it, but I'm like, hey, I want to try something else. I don't want to limit myself as long as the other thing is also moving me towards the goal that I set, like the big theme, then I can try it as well. So my theme for 2023 is, drum roll please, <laughs> strength. Strength, strength, strength. And I know that may seem incredibly vague, and it is, but I kind of wanted to share why I set it as strength and what I'm personally going to start off the year looking to tackle, moving towards gaining strength for the rest of 2023. So I have a couple of ideas in mind already, and I've actually already put some action steps in place. So I know that I'm starting off the new year with some activities that are going to benefit and increase my strength. So first, and maybe the most obvious definition of the word strength, is I would like to increase the amount of weights that I can lift in the gym. I have historically been on and off with my gym going. I can be really, really good for some time, and then I fall off for a long time because I get really stressed and I don't find the time. So what I've done at the end of 2022 is I have set up, I have a gym in my basement now, squat rack, bar, barbells, a bench, an elliptical machine, things like that. So I am fully set with everything that I need. And I now have a virtual personal trainer as well. So, what my plan is, I met with him today, he was very lovely, I'm going to use him as a consistency point to help me to improve my strength this year. I'm not setting any hard goals for like, I want to be able to lift this much, or I want to lose this much weight, because I don't, I don't like dealing in numbers, because if I don't hit those numbers in a certain time frame, I get very down on myself. So instead, it's going to be, I'm going to, tomorrow is the first workout I'm doing with my trainer. I'm going to record myself just how my form is, how much I'm comfortable lifting. And then every couple months while I continue working with this trainer, I'm going to review back on the old videos and just see how far I've come. So that's the goal. That's my number one goal. I'm really hoping that I'm able to stick with that because if I do for the year, I will be so much stronger. <laughs> so buff. <laughs> Which would be lovely. I'd love to just have more strength in general. I'm not too bad. Like, I don't feel like I'm weak or anything, but it is an area I'd like to expand. 
second, an area of strength that I would like to improve on is my mental strength. I am a pretty um, anxious person at baseline. I always feel like I have like a million ideas flying through my head at a time. And it does work for me and that I've been able to be successful in my career. I was good in school, all these things. But I've noticed recently that these anxiety uh, tendencies and habits that I've formed over the years are no longer serving me as healthily and as... Um, beneficially as I once thought they were. They're starting to keep me up at night. My sleep quality has gone down. I just feel more anxious. I've been a little bit more distant in my day-to-day -day life. Just with thoughts kind of like running through my head and I, I, I'm not super in control of. So to combat this or at least to start tackling it, I have now um, started the process of finding a therapist. Finding a therapist, which I know is a little daunting, it can sound a little scary for a lot of people to go find a therapist, but I'm very fortunate that the people in my life are really pro-therapy, really pro-people getting the help that they need, so I haven't had any barriers, which has been really lovely. So, for the company I work for, they're incredibly kind, and they offer free monthly therapy sessions, which is great, so I'm going to start with that, and then if I need any extra coverage, uh, one of my best friends is a therapist, and she recommended a therapist here in the city that I'm from to check out, so I have two options going for me, and I have a uh, consultation with the therapist from work booked for early January already. So I'm really hoping that through working with these people, I'm going to start to feel a bit more in control of my emotions and my anxiety and just have a lot less like racing thoughts. And I think that'll make me more mentally strong throughout the year. So I will report back and let you know how that is. I've never done therapy before. I'm a little scared, but I'm more excited to be honest. So I will let you know how it goes. And finally, and finally, and finally, my last strength-based exercise or activity that I'm going towards, I would like to strengthen the my uh, freelance business that I do on the side. So, for those of you who do not know, I work full-time as a medical writer. I have a, a full-time employment. I have an employer, boss, co-workers, the whole thing. And then outside of that, I do my own medical writing for my own personal clients that I facilitate and run on my own. So I charge them fees. I do their work. I do all the upkeep, back-end administration stuff, all of that. And I really love it. I love having the flexibility to add and uh, stop working with clients if I don't want to or if I do want to take on interesting projects, meet new people from around the world. It's been fantastic. But I am kind of noticing, because I've been freelancing for about two years now, I've started to like stagnate a little bit with my my rates and with my clients, and I kind of feel like I'm stuck in a rut. So this is something I've been working towards for literally all of 2022. So I'm finally getting to capitalize on all my hard work. I saved up, and today I bought a course to take from Ramit Sethi. If any of you are fans of I Will Teach You To Be Rich, which is a book to teach you about personal finance, which I highly recommend if anyone is looking to learn a little bit about how to manage their finances. It has changed my life. Ramit Sethi is the um, CEO of I Will Teach You To Be Rich, so he wrote the book, but he also offers courses. And one of his courses is Earnable 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 which is a course that helps people jump start businesses launch new products expand their client base things like that so it's an expensive course i knew that going in but i saved up and i had a strategic savings goal set for most of 2022 and using that i was able to save up the money i needed and i purchased my earnable course today so now i am a part of the course it is i did the live version so you get all of the course material but then also a five week like a uh, weekly call with from me with like the 30 or 40 people in um the program to like talk about your problems talk about your where you've been getting stuck where you haven't been so yeah i am super excited for this. This is something I've been working towards for so long, and I think it's going to be the final, like, cherry on top of how I'm currently running my business and how I can make it better. So, that is something I'm so proud of myself already for saving up for, having the money set aside, and then actually, like, pulling the trigger and getting into it. So, I'm incredibly proud of myself for that. So, I will let you know how that course goes. It is, I cannot recommend all of the IWT, the I Will 
teach you to be rich materials more if you're interested in personal finance and want to improve that part of your life he's fantastic really approachable funny and like great advice so yeah that is my 2023 theme i hope you guys enjoyed listening to me ramble about it i have a lot of optimism about this upcoming year which i know can be a little daunting for people to be like oh don't be optimistic you're gonna like end up letting yourself down later but i finally feel like i'm in a place where i've organized my life i have a goal i have the resources to help me meet reach those goals and i feel like quite calm about it which is not always how i feel at the beginning of the year so i will let you know how all these goals go but i would love 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 to hear what your guys's 2023 themes or new year's resolutions are and i'd love to hear about how you're planning on upkeeping them throughout the year because that's the hardest part it's always easy to say like oh i'm gonna sleep better in 2023 but how are you actually gonna sleep better so i would love 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 to hear your comments and hear your thoughts on my theme what your theme for 2023 is or your new new year's resolution so please feel free to leave those in the comments below and i'll be sure to read them and comment back I hope you all had a lovely New Year's. I am so excited to be starting the new year with you guys and with ASMR. I think this year is going to be a good year for the channel. If I can keep up some schedule, which we will see, I may, I may flip flop between more regular um, posting and then slowing down when I get a bit busy with this course. To just be forewarned, I may not have uh, daily uploads for some part of this year, and that's okay. But I have no plan on abandoning this channel. I'm loving making content for you guys it's so fun for me so i would love to hear your comments about your resolutions but also please leave any comments about any video ideas or asmr triggers that you love and i will add that into my rotation for the beginning of january again i hope you guys are having a lovely 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 morning afternoon evening or night